The story begins with a flashback to a time before 12,000 years. On an island, some elves are depicted. They are compact in size. These people feel, but they are attacked by cannibals. The man's name was Tok Tek, and he was the tribe's leader. Tok Tek arrives at his wife and daughter's house. Tok Tek's son arrives in the tribe and informs them of his father's death. Cannibals are on their way to attack us. They have also apprehended some members of our tribe. Tok Tek's son arrives and informs them cannibals are on their way to attack them. They have also apprehended some members of our tribe. Tok Tek's son requests assistance from the nearby vast tribes. Then the cannibals arrive there. They were riding on the massive dragons. They attack the elves, and the elves flee here and there. The cannibals set their tribe on fire. Tok Tek runs towards the forest with his family. Meanwhile, the commander of cannibals arrives in front of them. Seeing them, Tok Tek's son furiously hits a stone to a dragon. Noticing this, those cannibals become enraged. They depart from there, taking Tok Tek's wife and some tribe members with them. Tok Tek's wife throws some stones on the way out, so that her family can look for her. Tok Tek moves in search of his wife with his kids. They find a stone. Tok Tek's wife throws more stones on the way, so her family will find her soon. Tok Tek and his kids search for more stones. They find seven stones. They find about the direction of cannibals through this. On the other hand, those cannibals have brought them into their tribe. Actually, those cannibals have brought Tok Tek's wife and the other elves to kill and eat them at their festival. Tok Tek and his kids reach the vast tribe while walking. They were moving forward meanwhile, they notice a massive animal. The vast tribe's people were chasing it. The senior among them, named Amter. They were hunting that animal. Tok Tek hides at a place with his kids. The vast tribe's people were fighting with that animal. But it was dominant on them. Tok Tek appears and places the magical stone before the animal's eyes. When that animal goes blind, it is unable to see anything. Amter, the vast tribe's man, kills it. Amter and his companions ask those elves, who they are, how they come here. Tok Tek tells them everything. Amter says thanks to Tok Tek, because he saved him and the tribe's people from the animal. Then Tok Tek and his kids tell them everything, how those cannibals attacked and took their mother and other people with them. They ask Amter for helping them in their tribe. Amter takes them to their tribe's leader after hearing them, because he can't take any decision. The leader asks Amter, who are these elves and why did you bring them here? Amter tells him everything, but the leader refuses to help them. He doesn't want to fight with the cannibals. Amter persuades the leader, but the leader still does not agree with them. He asks Amter to tie those elves here. After some time, the cannibals will arrive and take them. Amter has to do this unwillingly. Then we are shown Tok Tek's wife and the other elves in the cannibal, S tribe. Cannibals have imprisoned them to eat them later. On the other hand, Tok Tek and his kids were tied. But Amter arrives and releases them. He encourages Tok Tek that secretly from the leader. I will go for helping you with my companions. After his, Amter, his companions, and those elves move forward. Moving forward, a boy of Amter's tribe is stuck in a trap. They were trying to save him. Meanwhile, a massive spider arrives. Amter's companion forbids him to move forward. The others make their companion free from that trap. After this, Amter kills that spider. Amter kills the spider meanwhile, one more massive. Spider arrives. They get frightened because it was massive and dangerous. But that massive spider silently lifts up the other dead spider and leaves. An elf is shown in the cannibals tribe who was the worker of the cannibals. He was telling Tok Tek's wife there will be a festival on a full moon night. That night they will kill you and will eat you. Tok Tek's wife goes to a man of their tribe. He was injured that's why. Tok Tek's wife bandages him and treats him. Amter and his companions discover some things of cannibals at a place. It was obvious from the evidence that cannibals ate someone after cooking. Amter's companion, who was a long distance away, he was taken to Amter. Amter asks him about the address of the cannibals tribe. He shoots himself to death without telling them anything. The location where they were at the time was also a trap. One of Amter's companions becomes entangled in it and perishes. Seeing it, they become upset. They have no other option instead of moving forward. After it, they move forward. The elf who was the worker of cannibals tells them. While chasing them, cannibals learn that some people are coming here. Because of this, the cannibals are enraged. They are assassinating some of your companions. Amter and his companions notice two monsters while walking. In mid of the forest while sleeping. They were silently moving from there. Meanwhile, the monsters have awoken and are aware of their presence. They start fighting. 
Amter gets injured in this fight, but they successfully kill those monsters. When they arrived at Amter, the poison had begun to spread throughout his body. Because of the monster's poisonous tooth stabbed in his arm, they take Amter to a safe place. Toktek says to his son, son I have to move forward to save and bring back your mother. Saying this, Toktek moves forward alone. His son also comes behind him to help him. Toktek's daughter knows the treatment through herbs, so she tries to remove the poison from Amter's body and cure him. Toktek and his son reach near the cannibals tribe. They notice many cannibals at a place. While escaping from them, they move into a cave. It was the cave where Toktek's wife and the other elves were kept. Toktek asks his son to stay outside. He goes inside to check. Then the cannibals were taking an elf girl for killing her. Because today was their festival. The cannibals leader kills her then the scene shifts to Amter. Toktek's daughter was attempting to extract Amter's poisonous tooth from his arm. Amter's companion moves behind Toktek and his son. Amter's companion reaches Toktek's son, they move inside the cave behind Toktek. Amter's companions say to Toktek's son we are going inside, if we're going to be killed, you should get out of here. Toktek's daughter couldn't take out the poisonous tooth from Amter's arm. Amter courageously takes out that poisonous tooth from his arm. After this, he moves to save the other companions. On another side, Toktek notices his wife and calls her. A cannibal sees them, they separate Toktek and his wife. They take Toktek for killing him. Their leader was about to kill Toktek when a rod stabbed him in the eye. Actually, Amter arrives and kills the cannibal leader. Toktek moves to search for his wife. The other companions of Amter start fighting with cannibals. Some cannibals travel from there on their dragons. Then a dragon, Amter's companion, falls down. He dies because of it. But Amter, his companions, and Toktek's son didn't lose courage. They were still fighting with cannibals. Meanwhile, someone attacks the dragon of cannibals. Amter notices the leader of their tribe arrives with his companions. To save them, Toktek also searched his wife. She had collapsed in a ditch. He was trying to take her out. On the other side, Amter and his companions kill the remaining cannibals. During this fight, the leader of Amter was killed. With it, they were also successful in killing all the cannibals. Toktek also appears with his wife. Toktek's children had left Amter's tribe. Toktek and his wife travel with the people of their tribe. Later on, Amter ascends to the position of a tribal leader. This is where the film comes to an end.